of those questions, you will decide on the leader behavior. Okay, and these are going to be the leader behaviors, right, that we've got up here. Then, so the questions he's going to ask are the following. So just we'll just go to go through these. Go back over in your textbook and you see. So the first thing he says, okay, what is the significance of the decision? Okay, so is this an important decision, or he calls it high or low? If, it's an, if it is an important decision, it is a high decision. If it's not too important, it's a low decision. Okay, so let's say the decision is about for the company to get into a new product flaw. Would that be a high decision or a low decision? High decision. That would be a high decision. If it's a decision about where to put the water cooler in the office, what would that be? Low decision, right? Okay. Now, if it's a high decision, then the next issue he's going to ask about is what is the importance of the commitment? And so do we want high commitment or low commitment? And if we want high commitment, then it's H. If we want low commitment, it's L. And so you keep going through, and I, I know you can't see it. For copyright issues, we're not allowed to make a copy of this slide because he actually owns this stuff. Okay, so this is the first. You make a decision about the significance. If it's high, it's here. If it's low, it's here. Then the next one is the importance of the commitment. I'll come up here so maybe hopefully you can see. If it's high, you go here. If it's low, you go here. Then the next step is what are the leader's expertise? Is the leader expert in this area? If he's very expert in this area, then you go with high. If he's not expert in this area, you go to low. Anyway, you keep going through these questions. These are the questions on top. And then these are the leader behaviors you engage in. And they are just the ones that are up on the board that I put up here. Okay? But what's neat about this is you can take any situation and you can analyze it by answering these questions and it will tell you what leader behavior to use. So you're not having to guess about which of these things to do. You can actually walk through this taxonomy, okay, which he has developed in order to decide what behavior to engage in. Now there's two taxonomies. One is called the